Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. I'm your host, Gamora, and we finally made it to Gondolia. Or Gon... Gondo yeah, Gondolia, man. I keep keep wanting to say it a different way, but I think that's how you say it. Uh, and we're here to pretty much find the rainbow. Also, in the last episode, we got a new party member. Uh, Silvando. We actually joined our party for real. So, uh... I wonder if he's gonna stick with us the whole time. I I don't remember like I've seen the like the intro cutscene. And the intro cutscene has a it seems like it has a whole bunch of characters from your uh your eventual party. Like so if you watch the like the the title, like if you're on the title screen and you watch that cutscene that shows up. Uh that's pretty much the it's a cutscene that also happens in the game, so you'll see it eventually. Um, but I don't remember seeing Silvando there. Maybe I'm just forgetting. What luck. Gamora finds a recipe book entitled Filigree for Fun and Profit. He takes a look inside. Gamora learns how to make gold platters, gold chains, and gold bracers. Cool. Isn't that the stuff that they were selling at the shop? Hmm. Now, if you guys are enjoying this series, I'd appreciate your support. So hit that subscribe button, whether you're on YouTube, Rumble, BitChute, or Odyssey. And check out these episodes live on Twitch. Uh, everything should be in the description down below. And thanks for watching. Let's see what we got over here. Anything in this? Sh nope. What's the boat for? Oh, we can actually use it. Gondola. All right, let's see what, what else we can do on the map. That's probably a locked. It's one of those red doors, probably. Oh, never mind. You know, I was, uh, I was sorting out the, or I, I guess, or, or, since, with the last two days, we did a, a Dragon Quest. Not Dragon Quest. The last two days, we did a Legend of Dragoon. And, um, so I had, like, a whole bunch of episodes recorded. And, uh, I was just sorting them out on my, uh, on my computer. And I think we're, like, we just hit, like, we just passed, like, the 50 episode mark. And I'm just like, man, we're still on disc three. And we're, I think, I think, uh, The Legend of Dragoon is going to be the longest, uh, Let's Play series that I've done. Because I think currently the longest one is Final Fantasy IX with 60 episodes. Benevuto, this is the first time for you here in Gond Gondolia. See? Alora, then I give you a history of this city. Now, Gondolia is the biggest trading port in the whole world, but in the past, it's, it's just a little fishing village. Hey, look, it's Doge. Doge Rotondo is the reason things have changed so much. He make the trading agreements with all different kingdoms. Gondolia, she go boom. If there is no Doge Rotondo, I cannot make a living with my bar. I owe him everything. Yeah, so I'm almost kind of curious how, um, how many episodes. I guess it'll just set a new record. Although, I, I bet you, um, while uh, The Legend of Dragoon is going to set a record for the longest episodes, something tells me that this game right here might beat it. So it's not going to hold that record for long, probably. My name is Hercules. I am the greatest. My muscles, they feel... It's time for the Senor Universio. I win this year also. It's Garantita. Garantita. Luza, he's the only one who come close to me. Close, but no cigarro. I wish I have more rivals. It's making the competition more fun. Oh man. Sounds like different languages. Sounds like a little bit of Spanish mixed in there. 
Buongiorno. Eh, a little bit of Italian, I can do that. Uh, salute. My name is Sartori, and I am the organizer of uh, Signor Universio. Universo. In this moment, I make the final adjustment to the schedule. This year's competition is biggest ever. Molto grande. It's all because of hard work of Doge Rotondo. He is the hero of Gondolia. It's like they're mixing languages. I gotta stop talking to all these people so I don't embarrass myself <laughs> on this Let's Play. Santos Cello. It's already time for Signor Universo. I feel as only yesterday when Hercules win last year's competition. Hmm? Which one is Hercules? He's the one who looked like the sailor with the big muscles and scarf on his head. Ah, Luciano. He sings so beautifully. His song soothes my heart. It's like riding the gentle waves. But Luciano, he is no the only contestant who steal my heart. Hercules is so big and strong. Molto fortismo. I cannot decide who to cheer for. Ah, but I think you know nothing of sig... Signor Universo. I'm correct, see? Ah, sure, tell me. Signor Universo is a competition where men from the whole world come together to see who is the best one. It's so much fun, you really enjoy, I promise. Ufas, salut. I'm Luciano, I'm the singer, but my throat is no good so today. But I hear about the bird song Nectar, they say is the best for soothing the sore throat yeah my, my, my throat gets kind of sore reading all this dialogue you guys are uh i guess i'm doing it to myself honestly all right so i think uh well let's head to the boat i think i mean I what i saw the docks over here so chances are it's in this i guess we're gonna have to take the gondola Oh, do I, oh, I just pushed forward. I thought maybe I'd have to uh, push other buttons. Oh, we can't leave. Okay, so this is probably not the right way. I wonder why the like the gondola is so like I don't know laggy. I guess. Okay. Can't jump up there. Maybe I go this way? Yes. Now where is the boat? I don't see a boat. Oh, all right. Can you believe it? This mean, mean man won't let us into the docks. Watch this dude was lying the whole time. He doesn't even have a boat. The docks are off limits for everybody now. It's because of la competizione. Great. So I guess we just have to sit tight till this contest thing is over, huh? That doesn't even make any sense. See, si, it's the only choice. I am sorry, but Signor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. Signor so Universo, you say? Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Naturalmente. Signor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves, graceful like the breeze, and deep like the sea. La competizione is reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable men in this moment. Ooh, I love a little pageantry. Come on, darlings, let's go see what it's all about. We can sample some local delicacies to get ourselves in the mood. I hear they're to die for. Well, who's with me? Come on, you know you want to. I'm not that bothered about whatever silly contest they're having, but I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. Seriously? We're not here on holiday, you know. 
We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? Nah, she doesn't care. I forgot too, to be honest. I'm so sorry, but I'm really rather hungry myself, and well, we can't leave until the contest's over anyway, so. <laughs> These guys are missing one major, major thing. This. Let's see if anybody catches it. Hey, listen, we're kind of in a hurry here. And we really need to get to the dock. At least something I noticed. Do you know who's in charge of this contest? Naturalmente, the person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. He is in the charge of everything in our town. His villa is in the northeast part of Gondolia. You must speak with him. He is so much a kind man. Molto gentile. You heard the man. Let's go ask this doge guy to let us into the docks. Doge. It's funny. I wonder if the crypto coin was out when they made this game and called that dude doge. So what I was going to say, and what I'm surprised Silvano, Silvando didn't seem to say, is that when Silvando joined our party in uh, the last episode, uh, we told him that the dude who bought the rainbow was coming to this town and the first thing or maybe the first thing second thing he said was uh th that the dude is probably you know he already set sail because this is a port town but we just got here and uh apparently nobody is allowed to go anywhere because of this contest so that means the dude is probably still here so we should be looking extra hard the dude's probably still here but instead, they want to do other stuff, which is fine. Whatever. That man, they say he come from Ward's Rust, but the city is totally destroyed now. He no have any home to return to. Hmm? Location of Ward's Rust is northeast of here, across the ocean. But it's only a pile of rubble now, I heard. No, don't come near. You will destroy me. You will destroy us all. Be gone. Okay. Now, they did say this doge dude is n northeast of town. Oh, it, it just says doge home. Okay. This must be the place. Let's see if he's home. Oh, sounds like an old man. Uh, hey, we're looking for the Doge. We need to ask him a favor. Bene, I am Doge Rotondo. Always I am happy to help. <gasps> I have nothing to say to you. Niente. Now you must go. Andate via. Panda? What the? Hey, wait. I wonder what he. So much for Malto Gentile. I've met kinder judges. I wonder who would look like. He took one look at you and freaked out, huh? Wait, you don't think? Nah, how would he know you were on the run? And why just you? Well, they did say there was a dark one and the luminary. Maybe we look the same. Monica's managed to get herself into a bit of a scrape. Please, you have to come and help. Of course. Man, you can't take that kid anywhere. Still, I guess we won't be sailing out of here anytime soon. Might as well go see what's up. Give it back, you dirty rotten thief! Oh, this kid. Why no? You are the kid, just like me. Anyway, I only borrow, no steal. We borrowed without asking. 
What's going on here, Serena? We were just walking along when he came out of nowhere and snatched her wand. We caught up with him here, but he won't give it back. It's just a kid. Just take it back. Like that. Hey. <clears throat> here. Don't let it get swiped so easily next time. Why did you even want my wand in the first place? It's not worth much money, you know. I, uh... Hmm? What is it, kid? Spit it out. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah, you're almost there. It's okay, Placido. I explain the situation. My name is Benigno. He is my friend, Placido. He's the only son of the Doge Rotondo. Every day we are playing together. Molto felice. Happy, happy. But then Placido, he loses his voice. I don't understand what happened. I ask, but he cannot answer. So I think, if I have the magic, maybe I can fix Placido's voice. Capisce? You're forgiven. Now, tell me more about your friend's lost voice. I guess this is supposed to be a kind of a Venice. It's his throat. There's some sort of awful. Oh, he's been cursed, poor thing. I might be able to help him if I had some bird song nectar. But I'd need some water from a sacred fountain to make it, and, well... You needed a special, very, very holy water to help Placido, see? I hear people talking about something like this. The river, west of Gondolia. If you follow it up, there is a cave. The Grotta della Fonte. Everybody say its water is molto speciale. I know I steal the wand, and I know this is very bad. But per favore, you must help Placido. We are friends since we are the small children. Bambini piccoli. And now you are his only hope. You will help him, see? See? Yep, I don't think we have much of a choice. Grazie mille, Especially signore. now that this is Doja's son. Water from the grotta and make the special nectar. And I will stay to take care of Placido. Alright. Actually, what I didn't check is if there's any purple dots. I guess there's no quests here. Head to the Grotto del Fonte in the Laguna de Gondilia. Gondilia. Find La Fonta Fonda and collect some birds on nectar. Hmm. So, uh, why are you stuck on uh, Dragon Quest 2? Are you just getting, are you like, is it, is it like cryptic, you don't know what to do next? Or are you just getting destroyed and you have to do some grinding uh, fudge? Oh, so you just lost because you don't know where to go. That sounds like my experience uh, in uh, Final Fantasy 1. Alright, so that's the fountain over there. Ooh, what's the sign say? To all who intend to enter the Grotto del Fonte. We, the members of Gondolian Chamber of Commons, Commerce, Recommend that you stock up on supplies and take a well-deserved rest in our beautiful city first. Hmm. I wonder if that's uh, meant to uh, stop us from going in this direction first. Because it doesn't seem like anything else would stop us.
glass frit. Now there was actually two quests in uh, Galapolis that we had to do, you know, two uh, side quests. One of them we already did, it was that uh, pep on the wild side. I forget what the other one was. There's got to be a way to, to check. Oh, right here. Quest catalog. So we did the wild side. All right, we need to find that golden globe. Ah, that might take a while. We have to run into some enemies until we run into him. But we only, I think we only need to find one of them, so... Oof. That sounds like it can be kind of a pain. Oh. Hopefully you find out soon enough. I mean, the game... The game was on old hardware. There can't be too many places that you can check. You'll find it eventually. That's the one good thing about that game being so cryptic. Or old games being cryptic. They might be cryptic because, you know, their hardware limits them and they couldn't really tell you much. Um, but, uh... The hardware also limits how many locations can be in the game. So, you know, you just have to check all of them pretty much. Maybe even a couple times. Ooh, that hurt a lot. That's almost half my HP. I don't think we're that far behind in levels. Although it would be nice if we can run into some monsters that give us a whole bunch of money. Just like how the the metal slugs gave us a whole bunch of uh, experience. There's bound to be a, a you know a secret or like a rare enemy that gives you a a whole bunch of money. I guess I could just do some grinding off stream, but man, I have enough grinding to do with uh, Final Fantasy X. Can't start another one, another grind session. Thankfully, uh, uh, Legend of Dragoon, it doesn't suit itself suit itself well to uh, grinding. Just be, just because you get so little experience from uh, you know just normal enemies, most of the levels are gained by uh, boss fights. Man, we're not doing, like, any damage to these people. She's the only one doing anything, really. Okay, good. We got rid of those two. Three damage. Song of Protection. Oh, is it because of his Song of Protection? That's the second time he did that. So maybe... Maybe that's why. They, they aren't taking that much damage. Oh, great. Is that all he does? Might as well just be like Metapod. Pardon. I don't think that's... Is that he, his defense is renewed? Well, he's not getting healed. Well, his defense is going up, but his magic da or his um, magic defense hasn't changed. So, we'll just do that. I don't know what I was doing. Hope this is a new enemy. Let's take him out. Ah, oh, they look so, uh, they look so friendly. Ah, oh, let's take out this muddy hand. I think he's pretty easy to take out. I think she is pretty much the strongest one in our party, which is kind of crazy. Prevents a group of enemies from using magic. Interesting. 
envelops a group of enemies in illusions. I want to see what that is. Kind of uh, interests me. Starts to hallucinate. Well, let's see. Well, I think we're just going to kill it anyways. I thought maybe it would hit itself. Like it's a confusion or something. But maybe he just misses a lot. Okay. Looks like there is a campfire in there. Not the biggest deal. Oh, not this frog again. I create two frogs. I guess we're gonna just have to rely on uh, uh, Veronica. I thought the poison missed. I guess the frogs attack also have poison. Hmm. Ooh. Loving that crit. Uh, eh, you might as well heal the poison. What else are you gonna do? I feel like, like um, like this is this is something that RPGs they do a lot of. Um, that I I wish they would change. Um, like for instance, like, uh, what's her name? Uh, Serena. She's pretty much the white mage. Um, but, you know, I feel like they should give all white mages, like, an offensive attack. So they can do some offensive... I mean, she can physically do damage, but she's just so weak. It doesn't really... It's almost not worth it. So I kind of wish that she had some magic that had some offensive capabilities. They do it in Final Fantasy 1. The um, the white mages can do um, Dia. I mean, it's only a target. Well, it does more damage to the undead. Oh, she'll get some later. I, I guess that's, that's good. Kind of wish they would start off, even with just a weak one. Even if it just did a tiny bit of damage, it would still be good. But if she gets one later, I guess that's not too bad. Just so she... Because sometimes, like... I have nothing for her to do. I mean, I guess I could just, like, cast some buffing magic. And just, like, increase somebody's defense or something. But... Well, she doesn't have any... Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I guess we'll find out in the next in the next fight. I mean, there are some. I don't think there's anything that does damage. I should say. There are some offensive magic, I suppose, but I don't think any of them do damage. But let's see. Ooh, it just healed itself. Interesting. Okay, let's see. Oh, it does. My bad. I'm just not paying attention. Slice it through a group of enemies with a sm that's, Yep, that's an attack. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, I think I'm getting it now. Um, So the green is... is recovery magic or restorative or, or you know reviving you know or you know curing stuff like poison red is probably for attacks blue is for like buffs and i guess purple is debuffs for enemies okay that's my fault yeah we already have it good looking out fudge twitch actually did quite a bit of damage too oh. 
Cool, I learned a new move. Bang. Oh, wow. Silvando, he has a whole bunch of, uh, whole bunch of HP. Might be nice to put him in our party. Eventually. Oh, alright. Well, it's fine. We got to our campfire. So let's take a rest. We, I think we did, we did pick up a recipe. So let's see if, uh, any of that stuff is actually, uh, an upgrade for us. That's not a bad upgrade. Gold ore. We only have one of them, though. Not everything needs gold ore. I think we're just going to leave it for now. I thought we needed gold for something. Like a side quest or something. Well, let's talk to them, actually. Hello. Seems like we get some cool information from these people. Um, at these campsites. This seems to be the source of the river that flows from Gondolia out to the sea. I'm pretty sure we'll find pure water if we go deep enough inside the cave. Let's follow the river upstream. Oh, wow. Ugh, I can't stand dark, uh, dank, moldy places. Let's find this special water and get out of here. Darling. Hey honey, you look kind of distracted. Let me guess, you're wondering what we're doing here, right? We're looking for special water to make that nectar that'll fix Placidio's voice. Of course, we don't have to worry about the ins and out of making it, though we can leave that to Serena. All we need to do is find that water. <sighs> it's kind of clammy in here, huh? This isn't good for my hair, you know? You know, being go, going to these camp campsites like constantly, it just makes me want to um, get to the Final Fantasy fifteen uh, playthrough. I I just had such a good time with that game, so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool. I actually have um. I think I bought it on, uh, I had it on, I, I mean, I played it on PS4, but I think I, there was like a, a good sale and I bought it on PC. So I wonder if I can, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, play it on PC because there is like the, f uh, 4k, uh, texture mod. So it would be nice to record, uh, Final Fantasy 15 and, uh, in 4k although i don't think my computer can do that since it's pretty much i mean like right now um i have one computer that it's that's that's like running dragon quest i have the same computer streaming it and the same computer also recording it so the fact you know so i don't think like if i play a game in 4k Something tells me this computer is not going to be able to handle it. And it's not like I can use another computer. Because then I would have to get a 4K uh, uh, capture card. Which I guess I, I was going to get eventually, so that might just be an option. I'm going to try that out. But it would be nice to uh, finally record something in 4K. Well, let's see what Bang does. Damages all enemies. Actually, oh, it's the same move as uh, Veronica. Right, right. This is a good time for some AoE. I should be able to do... Well, if Serena would stop getting hit, I would do the... I would do her whirlwind too, but... Hopefully that takes care of two of them. 
Nope, it's not. Of course you had to miss. I, wonder, I haven't been paying attention actually. I wonder if that um that hit with Serena. I wonder if that's like an HP restorative, or maybe that's just uh. It'd be nice if it was like MP, restores MP on hit. Oh whoa, this episode's 36 minutes in. I didn't realize that. Should have ended it at the campsite. Okay, good. Yep, he knew that I had to beat it quick, so, uh... Oop, 420 experience. Nice. A fresh jug of water. Alright, so I think I'm going to end this episode right here. In the next episode, we will make our way to, I guess, La Fontana Fonda. In the... And hopefully that's where the, the water is. Um, something tells me that there's probably going to be a boss there. So we'll probably have to face off against that boss. But I guess that's something we'll find out in the next episode together. So check it out. Thanks for watching and have a good day.